opportunity presents itself through the interaction with another human being, that soul presented the opportunity because he or she said he would before you were born. You could call it agreements or a meeting of the mind or whatever you want to call it, but we want to help each other get to our quest. We want to bring people to their own path. That's one of the things that we aim to do when we come here. Now, someone can come into your space and you two can have a car accident. You might have had an agreement that this person was going to open your awareness about a particular thing. Whether you do it or not is your option, it's your choice. How you view that circumstance is now your choice. The same exact opportunity is happening for the other person because you both said, let's help each other in this way at some point. Now, there's other circumstances where you bump into someone and you have an extremely positive interaction, so based on something that we perceive as negative as like a car accident. The reason that the interaction came together and that these two energies magnetized each other to each other on Earth when had a positive happening is because each one of those souls experienced a lot of unconditional love and very little baggage in their lives. So they still met their agreement in helping you to expand, but they were able to do it from a positive experience rather than having it, you know, bad or packaged in something that we might see as negative. All right, we're um, pretty much out of time, but I'll take one more question that anybody um, is. Just an, another quick question, which I could probably possibly know the answer to, is how come we don't remember our past lives? Is it more so that we learn it here, or that it would be too easy if we learned what we learned in the past? Would that be why we don't remember? What I find is what, there's two primary missiles that guide us on Earth. One is our passion, and the other is our questions, or our curiosity. When we follow our passions, our interests, or we follow our curiosity, or our questions, they lead us to opening up, learning these things that we think we don't know, all right? So as soon as a person says, I want to start to experience my past lives, and they follow that thread of curiosity. Now they're opening a pathway where they can begin to bring the people into their life or the reading into their life or the circumstances into their life where they can have an experience where they interact with their previous life. We keep a block on all that we don't know until we're ready to know it. And then we open up the window or we open up the door through our questions and through our passion. <coughs> So I'll just leave you with one thought. When you came here today, you had an idea of what effect you would have on Earth, how many people's lives you would change for the better because you have existed here. Now, when you go home, I want you to multiply that by 10 and say, this is the impact, the positive effect that I want to have on people on Earth. And when you set that as your site, it will happen. So if you thought right now that you were going to have a positive influence on 10 people, if you think you can do it for 100 people, then you can do it. Even if it's just having an effect on the people within your immediate touch, the effect that you have on them, if it's positive, will affect the next person next to them and the five people that they know. So if we all do that, if we all want to have a positive influence act or influence on more people, then we have no choice but to have all of us grow and expand in our level of awareness. And have bliss on earth.